So, how are you keeping time? Not sure. As best as we can, anyway. And whereabouts are we based today? Uh, Ballyartha, Innes. So, outside Innes. So, you, you run a fleet of Masseys and Hyundai Diggers? And yeah, three Hyundai Diggers, two 220s, and a 180. And the tractors are two, two fours, and we have a 18 and a 6490, and a 2 2. We fought them on it. Um, the reliability is very good with them. This tractor here since 09, and never any great downtime with it. The usual maintenance on it, alright. So, that, um, so we, couldn't, we couldn't really fault the masses. They're on the hours and that work and no, no great hold ups or stoppages with them. What other jobs do you do now bear digger work? Um, we're doing bulk fertilizer spreading there for Liffey Mills. We're at that there, going on to our fourth season. Um, we're very happy with that contract. Um, we could be anywhere from Galway down to Tipperary, into Limerick. Back West Clare, covering a big area, from, and that usually ties up a tractor then from, say, February on till September. So, look, it is, um, we've been fairly busy with it, but sure, it all depends now on the coming year with fertilizer prices, and the way they are, wouldn't have been much of a spread at all. So, um, that'd be keep that tractor and spreader going and then any bits of line then we'll be throwing out bits of line there for McGrath's quarry as well so um, slurry, silage, seam, subsided, direct drilling so um, look, there's plenty plenty to keep keep us going like. And would you cover much of an area now for silage? Uh, we'll be covering a good part of say would be what? We'll be going as far as down to the corner round about Limerick, back to Lahinch, the scanner, um, Tola, Queen, back down to towards Killaloo, um, into Ballina, Gunlow. We've we'll covered a fair area of the county, like, so we've got them back west there as of yet. Um, so we'll be getting, we'll be kind of working in circles that we go into an area and walk away and wipe it out and going to the next and so on. So look at this, I suppose you have to travel, no matter where you're based, you're going to have to travel some bit anyway to go follow the work. And would you have been up in acres now in the last two or three years? I would be, we'd be up, yeah, we'd be up in acres. I suppose this year especially, we'd be back a small bit in the lines of first cut crops were fairly heavy and farmers had a lot of, some good shot of farmers had silage left over. And, um, there wasn't space to fit the, the the second cutting, and that's where I suppose we've been back our acres this year. But generally, look at you take every year as it comes and see how it goes like. And with the diggers now, especially around this area, the rock. Yeah. So, what sort of jobs would you be doing? Um, we vary, and we have um, land reclamation be on the bigger side. For the digger side, we could be going in start to finish job and clear and ground and break and rock and on it. Um, we have, I suppose, we do the site work, doing tanks for farmers as well. Um, just their general run of the mill. And we were out to a job there, that aim and us to break and on That was beyond in Dangan. There we were, what, we started that, there was this last, last year and that was probably one of the toughest we've had to face that there was very little surface in it and luckily enough we found pockets here and there on it to be able to bring it up and um, he's just finishing off the back section of it there now to get that into grass again so look at his um, I suppose around here we wanted the luxury of having two or three feet of surface on a place where it's basically on the rock. So it all depends. Some places you go there, the rock will be fairly hard and take a bit more time but you get it like. So you're, are you also doing farming or? Yeah, we're 
here, so from water farming here, and um, we'd be suckered to beef. So there would be everything, everything is sold for stock. We'd be what cabin down there in the spring, in the end of February, March, and we'd be um, we'd be hoping to have all our cattle out there, as especially cows and calves. When they'd be calving down, they'd be let straight out, weather permitting, and that all our younger stock would be out in February, and um, that's so all. That we would have a no big, big winter, long winter to have them inside, but um, no, it is going okay for us there, but just you're always one worried I suppose on the lines of your your input costs have gone up dramatically like, compared to what they were ten years ago. So where is it going to stop that the price of beef has relatively stayed the same over the last, last number of years like uh, it's only barely barely covering its costs. Like. That's the 960 there was it two years ago the 970 uh, 970 is because it is a, an animal of a harvester. There was no other way to describe it really because um, with the new pickup that they have on them now have really turned the harvester around. Com compared to the older 960, that was its biggest struggle. You couldn't utilize the power because the header let you down to get the, the crop in. But um, realistically speaking, for, this is probably too big of a harvester for where we are. Because there's no tillage or no crops or that here by right. You'd want to be going into whole crop of maize to get your real benefit out of it. But look at this, doing us, didn't do us the way the finest on it. For backup in the area, uh, who would you deal now for machinery wise? Um, the harvester would be McCarthy's, and the tractors then would be Joe Whelan's in the rush, and the diggers then is Georgie Whelan there in Bearfield. So they all, three of them there, have excellent backup. If you rang them there now, if you were stopped up, they'd have someone out just straight away. Like, and look at I suppose, whatever, in peak season, I suppose, whatever the cost is, just to get up and running, there's a big thing, or get someone out just straight away, that it kind of eases the pressure to a certain extent that haven't been waiting and waiting, wondering is someone ever going to come out. But no, they've, they all have great service now and backup. Would you travel far now for digger work? Yeah, look at what digger work is like in then. I suppose there's only so much around locally and after that then you'll have to start spreading your wings a small bit more and that going wherever the work is and that's the reality of it. I suppose lots of people or lots of builders do if you look at them that were in the county and doing a lot of work over the last 10 years have probably moved further afield to do the work or get work and that which is the nature of every business wherever the work is, you must go I suppose.